don't be too discouraged. I know when things are really rough, really hard, when you, um, you feel like c- killing yourself. I was there in 1998 or so. And it just, you just can't go on. But looking back, I had to get to that lowest of the lows in order to finally cry out to God. And everything within me cried out. I said, Lord, you have everything. My life my future children, my finance. Lord, everything is yours. I lay it bare. Whatever you want to do with me, you do it. I, I'm to the point now where I just, I, I, can't, I can't go on. I'm done with life. I haven't succeeded. I failed. And from that moment on, when he filled me with his spirit, and God came in a tremendous joy and peace, and I know it that it just you begin weeping because of the peace and the joy. You're going through hell, but you feel so much joy. How is that possible? Because it's God's redemptive work. He's okay, now I can work on you, Shane. Now I'm going to pick you up. Now you can proclaim my truth because in your weakness I have been glorified. You finally got to a point where there's no Shane Eidelman in the equation. There's no more you. It's all about me. And then when you do that, God fills you with his spirit. There's no more fighting. You can throw me in jail. And I will follow you. You can send me to Africa, and I will follow you. You can call me to pastor a church, which I thought was the last thing ever. It didn't even enter my mind. So see, don't despise the days of brokenness. Don't get in pity parties and beat yourself up because what we do, we go back to the drink or back to the pill or back to the wrong relationship or back to the wrong media or back to the wrong, we stay in that spot of, 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 of pity and despair and, and bitterness instead of God saying, no, turn it over to me and let me fill you with my spirit. You will see those who are the most I believe the most filled with God's spirit. If you, could, if you could break it down to its lowest common denominator, they have went through tremendous pain. Like Tozer said, God must break a man greatly before he can use him mightily. Same with women. Same with all of us. God will break us until we finally get to a point. We say, God, I'm all of yours.